Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my entire perfume collection and it's also a little bit of a declutter as well because I do want to kind of go through things and just kind of pick some scents out that I'm not really enjoying as much just to kind of move things around and get things situated and looking nice. If you guys are new here, my name is Leah. I make all sorts of beauty related content including makeup, also fragrance, lots of bath and body works and perfume hauls over here and fun shop with me video. So definitely subscribe if you are new and maybe you can find some new perfume recommendations as well. I typically go for more sweet gourmand type of scents. I love to smell like vanilla or dessert so you'll find a lot of those in my collection. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys so here's where I have most of my perfumes. Let's go ahead one by one and let you know if I'm going to be keeping or decluttering. Let's start with the black opiums in my collection because I seem to have quite a few of them. Um, just collecting them. It's one of my favorite scents and they've come out with different versions pretty much every year. So I have their Illicit Green and I think this one's definitely going to stay in my collection because I love this version for spring and summer. It's just a hint more fresh and just lighter and fruitier than the original. So I really, really enjoy it. And that being said, I also have this version which came out, I think, the end of last year or beginning of this year which is the La Parfum version and this one is like a really rich vanilla it's like vanilla overdose black opium it's so good one of my favorite versions that they've done so this one's definitely staying I definitely wear this one more in fall and winter which leads us to the OG and I think I can go ahead and let this one go, even though I love the OG. It's just, I got my spring version already. I got my fall and winter version already. So I feel like the original, I just don't really reach for quite as much, even though it is a great one. It's probably something I would maybe keep in a mini and not so much like a full size. So I think we can let this one go. And also from YSL, we have the YSL Libra. This is the La Parfum version, which is my favorite version from them. Again, I've owned, I think, uh, the original, I've owned the Intense, which is also a really nice one, but this La Parfum, I think whenever Wessel does a La Parfum, it's always the best in my opinion. It's just like more edible and juicier and sweeter. It's so good. So this one's for sure going to stay. I do have the original too, which maybe I'll go through my minis, but I do have the original in a mini size. And if you're wondering about these little organizers I have, I will link them on my Amazon storefront for you because they are quite handy. They're like a tiered organizer so that you could store some of your perfumes and also be able to see everything since they are tiered. Okay, let's do my Kaoli next. Uh, we have the Vanilla 28. This is probably my favorite from them just because it is a classic brown sugar and vanilla scent. I have to keep it in my collection. I also love her Love Fest Burning Cherry. This is kind of like a similar style to Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, but I can't justify the price of Tom Ford perfumes, but I love this one from Kaoli. It's like a smoky, woodsy cherry. I absolutely love it. And of course, we have the Pistachio Gelato, which this one I have the huge size of. I did a review on this one. I've already gone through probably a third of this bottle. I love this one, especially for spring and summer. It's not quite what I was expecting from them to do, but I honestly can't stop reaching for it. I love how fruity and delicious this is. It reminds me of like a marshmallowy cotton candy in citrus. It's so good. I have kind of been already debating decluttering this one. I think it's gonna go. This is the Ellis Brooklyn Salt. I lost the lid for this one, unfortunately, um, but this one, I was kind of wanting it to be more of a beachy, tropical vibe, and it does have a fresh sense to it, but it's also very woody and just not what I was expecting from this fragrance to be. I'm not a huge fan of sandalwood in those kind of notes, so I'm gonna declutter this one. I'm also going to be decluttering, surprisingly, this is the B from them, and this one I did like. It was my first Ellis Brooklyn purchase at Sephora when I was really getting into perfumes, like, consistently, and I really loved how sweet and delicious this was, but to be honest with you, I just never reached for it because it's almost a little bit 
too much in a way it's very warm it does smell like honey but I almost wish it would be just a little bit more fresh and not so sickeningly sweet like I love a good sweet perfume but this one's almost just too much that I don't reach for it so I'm also decluttering this one which I'm sad to say I feel like I would use this one in a mini size but I really don't need a full size because I'm not reaching for it I'm really sad because I feel like I'm de decluttering most of my Ellis Brooklyn ones but this one is my favorite from them this is the sweet this one I just feel like it's so good for every day this smells to me very musky but fruity it has like a pear note to it it is delicious it reminds me a little bit of glossier you but sweeter so if you guys want more from that scent try this one out i get so many compliments on it it is so good yeah this is definitely one like in my top 10 most worn so for sure this one's gonna stay Okay, I have one from Parfum de Marly. <laughs> this is one of my more, I would say, luxury perfumes, and it is the Delina Exclusive. And I love this scent. I do not regret buying it in any way, shape, or form. It was worth the money to me. This is so rich and elegant smelling. This is like a candied rose, and it has stunning packaging. Like, even the top of it is so weighted. It's absolutely gorgeous. Sometimes you can catch this one on a sale, like 10% off either Neiman Marcus or Saks. If you guys are interested, I'll try and post when there is a sale, but it's worth it to me. It's just so good and so strong. When I'm paying that much for perfume, I want it to be strong. This one does not disappoint, so I love this one. Let's do my replica scents next. I have this one, I think you guys already know. I'm gonna be decluttering it because I'm just not a fan because if you guys watch my review I oftentimes do a big perfume roundup of new scents I've bought and I'll tell you guys my thoughts I do not like this scent at all replica is extremely hit or miss for me this one it smells very heavy on the rose and also it has like a wine note to it but it smells stale I just I can't with this one so for sure this is going now I do enjoy this one which is their coffee break perfume and this one's actually one of their sweetest ones that they have in their collection I feel like and I do enjoy it I wish I bought like the one ounce though and not this huge bottle I haven't been reaching for it a lot but this is one I like to layer a lot with like um Bath and Body Works Midnight Amber Glow these two go really well together it's like a perfect match so I will be keeping this one in my collection I do like this if you guys like sweeter more edible it does have a little touch of lavender in it as well and then I do have a couple smaller ones let me grab them this is their one ounce size and from this okay I will say I actually do love this one but it's very much when I only wear if I'm at the pool, I'm at the beach in the summer, and this is Sailing Day. This is one of my favorite aquatic and fresh scents. It's not anything coconut or anything like that. It just smells like fresh ocean vibes. I love it. No sandalwood or anything like that here. Also, I do have their By the Fireplace, and this one I will say I really do enjoy this one too, but it's definitely a time and place where I wear this one because it's quite strong. Like, it does smell a little bit like a campfire in a way and I know I, don't, I said I don't like like woody scents but I like this one because it reminds me of like roasting marshmallows by the campfire. It's like smoky woodiness and vanilla. Um, a great one to pair with, oh I don't know if I have it next to me, but Bonfire Bash from Bath and Body Works but this is really really strong so I like this one for fall and winter time like a night out. So that's my replica. All right, in the back, I kind of have random stuff here. So let's grab this scent. This is Victoria's Secret. It's their Teas Sugar Fleur. And typically, I don't buy a lot of Victoria's Secret scents because a lot of them are just kind of blah to me. I don't know why. I feel like I focus more on Bath and Body Works. And so I just don't have the time, effort, or space to also focus on Victoria's Secret. But this one is an exception from them. I really enjoy this one. This one smells like candied apples. It's really pretty, really fruity. I don't know if, I hope they still have this one. It's one of my favorites. I love the bottle as well. So Teas of Sugar Fleur is a must have from Victoria's Secret. Let's get into my Killian scents. I really like this 
brand. It's very pricey though. I just have two of their scents. So I have the Princess. This is the original where it has the little circular opening, but the new one is more of a rectangle, but this is such a good scent. This was my first purchase from them. And this one I like for, especially fall and winter night out vibes. It's really yummy, like marshmallow, very sweet, seductive, and it has a little bit of a green tea note in there as well, which I don't get as much. To me, it's mostly like a dark, sexy marshmallow type of scent. It's really good if you like gourmands or sweet scents. And then also from them, this is my favorite. This is the Love Don't Be Shy from Killian. This one, again, is heavy on the marshmallow, but it's kind of like a citrusy marshmallow, but so seductive and sweet and girly and oh my gosh. I absolutely love this one. It's almost fizzy in a way where it almost reminds me of like a little bit of root beer to it. I don't know, something about it. It's so good. I know they came out with a new version, which I kind of want to try. I think it's supposed to be like a lighter version for summer. So I think Sephora has that one. I might pick it up. We'll see. These are really pricey. So I mean, I would say this one's worth it. I haven't really had anything that quite compares to it, and it's one of my top 10 faves. From a philosophy, we have the Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. This one is such a pretty scent, and it's also very affordable. They, of they often have sales, like 30% off on their website, and sometimes Ulta will have it on sale as well. But this one is just really creamy and warm for fall and winter. I know I paired this one a ton with the... Sol de Janeiro, Chirosa 71. Really great pairing, but yeah, if you like sweet, edible type of scents, this one, it's so good. It does smell like warm cookies, but also a little bit of cashmere in there as well. Honestly, I haven't reached for it a lot, I feel like lately, cause it's really similar to the Sabrina Carpenter sweet tooth fragrance that I have, but for now, I do want to keep it. All right, let's do my Mason Francis Kirk Dijon scents. Of course, I do have the Baccarat Rouge 540. Now, I know this is a scent that is duped over and over, but there is just something about the original that's just amazing. As you can see, I wear it a lot. It's really pricey, that is for sure, but like there's just something about this scent that is so intoxicating and it's one of my, again, top tens. And sometimes my dupes just don't quite compare to this level and don't necessarily have the longevity that this one does. Like I could spray this, my clothes will smell like this for weeks. It's super strong, um, very sweet, kind of skin musky type of scent. It's almost like a grown-up cotton candy vibe to me. I think it is so pretty but still has like some freshness in there that isn't too intoxicatingly sweet and it's just a good go-to for like every day, anytime I can pull this out. It's not really going to necessarily bother anybody but if I don't know what to wear, I'm just going to reach for Baccarat Rouge. So <laughs> I do love this one and sometimes again you can find this one on sale on like Neiman Marcus or sometimes Nordstrom will do 10% off as well. And then my other one from them is actually the Gentle Fluidity Gold version. And this one also is very pretty night out vibes. Um, a lot of people like put this in their favorite vanillas video and I'm just like, okay, I get it. Like it's a little sweet, but it's not quite vanilla in my opinion. I think it's very just musky and grown up, but has like a hint of sweetness to it. It's nothing overbearingly floral, but again, this is just one I can pull out mostly for night out for me as a go-to, and it's very stunning and lasts all day on the skin. Right, next row here, let's start with this one. This is Dolce by Rosie Jane. This is a beautiful vanilla bean ice cream type of scent. It's absolutely stunning. You can get this one at Sephora. It's I would say mid-range price-wise, but really, really good scent if you guys like vanilla, so I'm gonna keep that. Now, I have a few Skylar scents. I do tend to like this brand quite a bit. I really love the Vanilla Sky from them. This is another easier reach perfume I can just wear every day. It's vanilla, but it's not overly vanilla. It's very sweet though, but it has almost like 
this yummy cappuccino note to it, but I also find it to be a little on the fresher vanilla side as well. So pretty. As you can see, I've used almost half of this bottle, so clearly a favorite. And also a new favorite is the Boardwalk Delight. Now this has been my go-to for spring and summer, you guys. If you guys want to smell like legitimate cotton candy, this is for you. But it's not overly sweet, so if you don't really like to smell super duper sweet, this is perfect for you because it has like this fresh, almost cotton note to it that is so stunning, but it still smells like cotton candy, but just light and airy and fluffy and so good. Definitely recommend picking this one up. I think um, it should be at Sephora either now or very soon. Now, this one I've kind of been debating on because I do like it, but I don't know if it's the perfect scent for me or I, it's not quite a love. Now, this is their peach field scent. I love the opening because you do get a lot of just like a fresh juicy peach, which I've been looking for, just a true peach scent. But this one has quite a bit of like almost a honeysuckle or floral note in there too that I'm just like, mm, it's not quite there for me. I just want pure peach. I don't really want the floral background, but I don't think it's a bad scent by any means. And if you guys do like a little bit more floral, fruity you might like this one because it's not overly sweet but yeah it's just a little bit too green for me that I don't reach for it um so if you guys like let's say Bath and Body Works I think it's honeysuckle peach tea that's what this one reminds me of but I will be decluttering it all right um as you can see I've been trying to make some room in here so I have stuff just all over the place this perfume this is by Roger and Gallet and I picked this one up when I was visiting Paris. I think that was 2014-ish, around there, maybe maybe later. So it's been a while. I've had this in my collection a long time. I think this was like 2015, 2016-ish. I've had this in my collection quite a while. Um, I remember getting this one at City Pharma, which is like a huge pharmacy they have there with all the amazing skincare at amazing prices and this was very affordable this was their uh floor de figure scent i <laughs> sorry i'm butchering these names but i'm definitely very attached to this scent with those memories of paris but also it's such a good scent very bright fresh floral and yeah i don't know let me know if you guys can get this brand in the states anywhere because i really do enjoy this one and i've been kind of savoring it for the years i'm hoping to make it back to paris in the next year or two and do some major perfume shopping <laughs> then but this oh my gosh it's such a staple i have to have it this is my only Joe Malone fragrance, but I love it. Look at this. I'm almost done with it. So this is the Blackberry and Bay. I feel like this is just such a unique scent from them. It almost has like this herbal freshness to it. So, so beautiful. It's not overly floral, but just very fresh vibes from this. But hint of sweetness from the Blackberry. It's such a good one. Definitely a compliment getter. My favorite, favorite, favorite from the brand. I have yet to find another one that I've truly fallen in love with from this line, but this one, for sure a staple in my collection. Okay, next is this scent from Indult. This is the Tihoda. It's not anything special packaging-wise, but this is one of the best vanillas I've ever smelled in my lifetime. You can get them from Lucky Scent. It's a little bit hard to get your hands on, but I promise you the Lucky Scent website is... Um, totally legit um it's a little bit pricey but i'm telling you i've never smelled anything better than this for a vanilla scent if you just want a true vanilla bean this is the way to go and it's very long lasting um and speaking of that i bought this because it's supposed to be a dupe for it and i will say this is very close if you guys want a dupe but not quite there it's very close but i don't really like the opening so much this is vanilla dreams it has a weird like almost chemical smell to it when you first spray it. I don't know. So this is from the Dua brand. They do have quite a bit of good scents, but I'm just going to go ahead and declutter this because I do prefer the original. Next up, we have this one from Gucci. This is really the only Gucci scent that I really loved, and it's the Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia scent from them. I love this bottle. This is kind of reminiscent of Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy in a way, um, but I don't know. I really like it. I know it's not the most long wearing scent but it's definitely one of a more fruity florals that I like from Gucci because some of their scents can be a little bit too floral for me but this one is perfect. 
Now I think I am going to be decluttering the Sol de Janeiro perfume. I will say I just haven't been impressed with the longevity of their actual perfume. Like honestly just buy the mist and it's essentially the same thing. So I'm just going to stick to the $20 fragrance mist instead because I feel like it's about the same longevity. So I'm going to declutter the perfume. Next up we have Glossier You. I hate that this bottle doesn't have like a lid or maybe I lost the lid. I think it did have a red lid. Maybe it's just missing from my collection. But I mentioned this one a little bit earlier when I was talking about the Ellis Brooklyn Suite. I love this scent. It's so good. It's one that will get you compliments. Something about it, it just like meshes with your skin to create this gorgeous scent. It's musky. It's a skin scent, but it does project. And I don't know, something about it, it's just really good to me. So if you don't mind something not overly sweet, but you can reach for it literally every day and it just kind of blends in with your skin. Like try this one and now they have it at Sephora so it's much easier to get your hands on. Next we have Commodity and this is the scent Milk from them. Now the Commodity brand does things a little differently. They have three versions of their scents. They have the original, the expressive, and then I think the plus maybe? I don't remember but there's three versions. There's like a mild, a medium and the intense and I usually go for the medium and milk is this delicious milky <laughs> type of sweet almost creamy scent it's so good you guys I'm obsessed so I have the huge bottle of this one definitely one of my fave fave faves in my collection this is my favorite juicy couture scent this is the gold this is one I've worn for a year so I kind of have scent memories with this one as well it's so good if you like something more sweet I hope they never really get rid of it sometimes you can find this one in a small size at TJ Maxx for an affordable price but this is like very caramely and vanilla heavy. It doesn't really smell like their typical Viva La Juicy. It's very gourmand lover's dream. So I also love the packaging of this one. I think it's so pretty. So that one's staying. Next is my Montel fragrances. I have two. This is their Sweet Vanilla. For my gourmand girls who like to smell like dessert, you have to check out this brand because they have some really good dessert-like and bakery type of scents. Their Sweet Vanilla is one of the strongest vanillas I own. It is, again, more of a true vanilla scent. It has, like a, I think, a very light hint of peach in the background. I know that's in the notes that makes it a tiny bit fruity but oh my gosh this you only need like a couple sprays of maybe even just one spray because it is so so strong i just love this scent i will tell you though some of their vanillas can smell a little too similar another one i like from them is chocolate greedy this one smells to me like hot chocolate mix so stinking good almost a little similar to sweet vanilla though but it does have a little bit more of that cocoa powder type of scent to it so good if you guys like gourmands again you need to try this brand i usually get mine from uh twisted lily from them because i do have like a 10 percent off code with them Okay, next up I have this scent from Dolce & Gabbana. This was a random TJ Maxx find. It's their Lily scent. This is a nice scent, but I'm not one that wears a lot of florals. And it's a pretty fresh floral, and I like it, but it's just not one I'm quite in love with and gravitate towards for quite a bit. Um, and I only want to keep stuff that I love, so I'm going to declutter this one. Next is my Byredo fragrance. This is Gypsy Water. I picked this up at Nordstrom one time because I really wanted to try a scent from them. And I I felt like this has such a unique quality to it. I can't even describe this scent. It's a little bit musky and herbal, very fresh to me. Could be very unisex too. It's one of their top sellers, but I will say I feel like I have to overspray this one because it's pretty light, but again, it's just a nice everyday easy reach. And this is definitely my favorite from the Byredo line, but they're quite pricey, so. I don't know if I would repurchase because it was so much and I feel like it doesn't really project on the skin. Next is my Dior. This is Hypnotic Poison from them. Fun story, I used to not like this scent. I would go into like Ulta and Sephora and always try to spray this one because everyone always said it's one of the best vanillas and every time it would smell like black licorice to me. But then, I think it was last year or so, I tried it again and I fell in love. It's so odd. But now I don't really get the black licorice note in here. It's more like a powdery, soft vanilla, 
Love this one for fall and winter. And if you're a vanilla lover, this one is a must. Next row of fragrances is this kind of random row. And no, this is not the end. I still have more. Sorry for my phone. Um, this is more of like my cheapy ones that I just kind of throw in here that are smaller bottles and stuff like that. Um, I think most of my Bath & Body Works scents I will be keeping in my collection. I have Champagne Toast. You guys already know. Midsummer Dream, Cocoa Paradise, and then Dream Bright in the back. I don't know if I, hmm, I feel like most of these are stays in my collection, so I don't know if I'm really decluttering anything. I have my two mixed bar scents, Pear Blossom, which is such a pretty, bright, and fresh, sweet, juicy pear. This one goes really well with Bath & Body Works Gingham Fresh. So pretty. Also, their Coconut Palm is such a good scent as well. This one smells like Bath & Body Works Sweet Whiskey, which is so weird, because, I mean, it doesn't sound like it would. This one... I reach for all the time. If you guys want something similar to Delina exclusive, but not quite, this is Rose Gourmand from Zara. Um, I've tried quite a few Zara scents. They make a lot of dupes, but this has always been one that has stayed in my collection because it's just that good. Very sweet rose, but cake-like, very syrupy sweet. This is a new one in my collection, so you guys get a sneak peek because I haven't actually talked about this one yet on my channel. This is by Sniff. It's their Crumb Couture Perfume. Oh my goodness. This smells just like Bath & Body Works Berry Waffle Cone. If you guys are fans of that one, I know it didn't come out this year, but if you want something to pair with it, wow, wow, wow. This smells incredible. It's like blueberry croissant, blueberry pie to me. It's so delicious. This is a little fragrance oil from Namat. You can get this at Ulta. It's their vanilla musk. This smells so good. It reminds me of the Indult Tihoda, but I prefer perfume over this oil, but it just smells that good that I have to have it. And you just dab a little bit on like your hot spots, like your wrist, your neck, and all of that where you get a little more warm and it projects the scent. So you don't need like a lot. That's why it comes in such a tiny bottle, but it's really good. This is my favorite from Pacifica, which is their Silver Moon. It has some of my favorite notes like vanilla, almond, and a little spice. So I definitely wear this one more towards fall and winter, but it's so warm and cozy and it's very sweet smelling. So a favorite of mine, of course. I have a few dossier as well. Ambry Saffron, which is a good dupe of the Baccarat Rouge. So if I don't feel like using my Baccarat Rouge, I sometimes do reach for the Dossier. This Fruity Almond is a dupe for the Caroline Herrera's original Good Girl. So I don't really have the full size of that one. Um, so I do keep around this dupe. And I do have the dupe for Flower Bomb, which is Gourmand White Flowers as well. So Dossier does honestly make really good dupes if you don't want to spend the high price tags that some of these perfumes can be. From the Finery line, I do have a couple of their dupe scents. These are from Target. Magnetic Candy is my number one. This one's so pretty for spring and summer. It has like cotton candy and it's very sugary and it's citrus. It's supposed to be similar to Byredo's Sunday's perfume, which I have smelled before and I would agree that it is a great dupe um i did wear this one the other day and i felt like it was pretty strong honestly so that one's staying and also the not another cherry from them is also staying so this is this is a dupe for tom ford's lost cherry and this one's just a little bit sweeter than the kaoli so they're both a little different so i'm gonna keep both this is a really cheap one you can get on amazon it's from an arabian perfume company called all rehab i believe and this is their choco musk perfume this one reminds me a little bit of the montel chocolate greedy it is really good if you're looking for that chocolate powdery kind of note a little bit of vanilla in there definitely a really good cheap perfume it does smell a little bit alcoholy once you first spray it because I mean this was like I think it was 15 bucks or less <laughs> but it's actually quite strong for being so inexpensive so I'll link this one on my Amazon storefront and then another new scent that's not quite in my collection yet but I need to talk about this I just bought this from House of Siage actually which is really expensive <laughs> but this was on sale on their website and this is their Harry Potter collection they had a Hufflepuff fragrance which is my house and I've been really into the Harry Potter um, computer game as of lately the Hogwarts Legacy and so I wanted to buy this and I am quite pleased you guys with the scent it was a blind buy but since it was on sale I was like let me try it out 
This smells just like Cotton Candy Clouds from Bath & Body Works. It's very sweet, yummy, creamy, and I've been wearing those together, and I'm really impressed, and I love the bottle. It looks like a little cupcake. All right, so this is the last section of my collection, which has some of my larger perfume bottles that don't really fit in the other areas, but plus I ran out of space, so we're storing them over here. As far as this little heart storage thing, I got it at Target in the dollar spot, so I can't link it for you guys, but if you guys check their dollar spot every so often, they usually have really fun organization ideas. So let's go over these. Um, starting with Ariana Grande. I have the Mod Vanilla from her line. And I do really enjoy this fragrance. I think it's so pretty. It's like a really sweet um, vanilla, but it does remind me of Cloud a little bit in her God's Woman perfume. I just feel like a lot of her perfumes are very similar, so I only have two in my collection currently, but I love this scent, but I hate the packaging so much. It takes up so much space, so it's also very ugly, <laughs> but I like the scent so much, so I'm going to keep it. And then, of course, I do have her Cloud, and this is actually, I think the Cloud... Is it the 2.0 or is it just the intense version? I don't know. I have the intense version. I don't really notice a huge difference between this one and the original, but I do like Cloud. Again, it smells like Baccarat, so anything that smells like that, I'm going to have it in my collection and use it because I just gravitate towards these for every day, but it's like a little sweeter than the Baccarat in my opinion, but I'm going to keep it. This one is the Golden Nectar from Nest, and this smells incredible, you guys. Ugh, I just, I'm intoxicated. I just love it. It reminds me in a way, which is, this is kind of weird, but it reminds me of like a little bit of like a older lipstick, like how lipsticks back in the day used to have a little bit of like a lipstick scent, you know, but make it really sweet and intoxicating. That is the golden nectar. So incredible. Next, I have the YSL, and this is the Mon Paris. I got a pretty good deal on this on Ulta, and this was a repurchase. Like, I used to have this back when it came out, and I used to wear it all the time. But I just don't feel like I have a need for this one currently, because it smells a lot to me like the Bath & Body Works Dream Bright. This might be one I'm going to go ahead and declutter, I think. And then I'm also thinking about decluttering my Victor and Rolf Bonbon. Bon. This is not one I reach for so much anymore. It, it used to be one that I used to wear quite a bit. It is very sweet, caramely, and delicious, but I think I prefer, if you want something similar, the Juicy Couture Gold. I just reach for that one a bit more, so I'm going to declare that. Next, this Burberry. This is the Her... Is it called Nectar? I can't quite remember what this one is called. Elixir, not Nectar. I was close. But <laughs> this one I got because I, I like the original Burberry Her, but sometimes it's a little bit too sweet for me. Um, like too strawberry or artificial. This one also has some extra notes in it that just makes it more like jammy and seductive. I think it's really gorgeous, so I do enjoy that one quite a bit. And then I have the Alien Goddess from Glare. Love this scent, especially for spring and summer. It has a very um, vanilla, but like a little coconut and musky. It's really pretty. It's not overly tropical or overly sweet, so it's a nice daily grab. This Marc Jacobs, I think I'm going to declutter it. I've had it in my collection quite a while. I think it came out a couple years ago, the Daisy Love Skies, maybe last year. They always do a new version each year, sometimes twice a year, um, but I just don't reach for it. It's nice, but it's just very light. It has a slight whipped cream note in it, which is what kind of intrigued me to buy it, but yeah, it's not one I reach for, so I'm going to let that go. This one I feel like I have to keep. There's just something about Britney Spears' fantasy that just makes me happy and this is the intense version and I feel like this one actually is quite long lasting and it smells like the original but like just a hint deeper and again more long wearing so I'm gonna keep that one. I was thinking about decluttering this juicy but I think I have to keep it. This is the La Bubbly. How cute is this packaging you guys? It's huge though. It takes up so much space but this one just kind of actually smells a lot like the original Viva La Juicy which is such a nostalgic scent for me because it's one I wore in high school a lot. I have to keep it. I think I have to keep it so that's gonna stay. Next, we have one of my favorite favorites. This is the Casamoretti Lira by Zerjoff. Oh my gosh, this smells so good, you guys. Um, again, you can get a discount on this one, 10% off on Twisted Lily with my code. And 
this one this is a gorgeous lemon and vanilla it smells like a lemon pound cake to me one of my again top 10 favorites so that's staying i have two from carolina herrera here i do have the good girl supreme this is actually my favorite from the line this is much sweeter than the original good girl and just i feel like more wearable to me so i do love 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 that one and these always have fun packaging i'm also really enjoying her new version from this year i think it's the blush the good girl blush this one is very fruity fresh it kind of has like a fresh laundry vibe to it but i kind of love it for spring and summer i think it's a really good one so i will be keeping and then um i was mentioning this one earlier this is sweet tooth from sabrina carpenter uh you can actually get this one at walmart it's so affordable it it does smell like the philosophy so i'm kind of debating if i really need both in my collection honestly now that I'm thinking about it, I might declutter the philosophy. I think it's decided. I just don't like to have stuff that smells too similar. So saying goodbye to fresh cream and we're just going to keep the Sabrina Carpenter. It's more affordable and smells, I would say, maybe even a little bit better. Onto this perfume shelf here. Hmm, okay, so I think the bottom row, these are probably going to stay. I love the Valentino Donna Born in Roma. Look how small this one is compared to this one. Oh my goodness. But this is just the little one ounce size. This is such a good everyday scent. You can see I'm halfway gone through the bottle. Again, just easy to reach for, very fruity fresh. But I also own the Intense from them. And this one, I mean, alone, I feel like it's a little bit much. But I love, love, love pairing these two together because it really intensifies the scent. So it's like, this is more night out, this is more day, but I really like both of them. I do have such a big bottle because this one was gifted, but I mean, I feel like they have to stay. Ooh, this is another favorite, the Prada Paradox. I love the packaging of this one too, it's so pretty. This one's another easy reach for, I would say, more night out. Um, just really feminine but rich smelling. It reminds me a little bit of Libra, um, but also like just a mixture of all the best perfumes like Flower Bomb. Everything good mixed together is a Prada Paradox. I love it. This is another really pretty scent from MAC. It is their Creme de Nude. I don't know. I think I might actually declutter this one because I did spray a little bit and it's having a weird smell now, now that I've had it for... A year I did the I did get this one from the CCO so I don't know if it already had been sitting quite a bit but it's starting to smell a little bit weird on me now I don't know so I'm gonna let that one go most of my perfumes I don't notice change in scent too much I try to keep them out of the Sun I usually don't have my windows open they are right now because I'm filming but usually my blinds are closed and there's not like a ton of sunlight in here so I'm not sure why that wouldn't seem to change its scent okay let's do my Billie Eilish perfumes I have the original, this one I wasn't too fond of at first, but now I'm really loving it. The dry down is so good on this. It reminds me of like a spicy vanilla. So I actually like this one for more of the cooler months, but very pretty. It lasts very long on the skin and leaves a more kind of rich vanilla dry down. But I also tried her 2.0. And this one's like the complete opposite of the original, which it kind of makes sense because we have like gold, like the bright side and the dark side. This one is extremely woody, very unisex, so it's not really my vibe. Again, I kind of mentioned about woody scents. They're not my fave, so I'm going to declutter this one. All right, last row, we have Marc Jacobs Perfect. I haven't been reaching for this one, I will not lie. But I like it. Like, I just can't see myself getting rid of this one. I love to wear this one with Bath & Body Works Poppy, which is being discontinued, but they're pretty much a dupe for each other. I just don't think I can declutter this one quite yet. I want to reach for it more, so I'm going to keep it. Next, we have Moschino. This is the Moschino Bubblegum, the toy bubblegum version. And you can actually find this at discount stores like TJ Maxx and Ross. So it's pretty easy to get your hands on now, which is so funny because this was sold out when it first came out on Ulta for such a long time and it was so hard to get. But this is a bubblegum perfume and I love wearing this one, again, with Bath & Body Works a Bubblegum Pop. They pair so well together. This smells so good, but I will admit the dry down is a little bit more 
kind of musky almost, a little deeper. It's not quite as bright bubblegum as the opening, but I think when you pair it with the Bath & Body Works spray, it keeps more of that bright bubblegum scent. So I do like having this one around. Next is another Amazon find. They have some good Arabian perfumes that are very affordable. I think this one was like 30 bucks. This is by Latafa. It's their Yara fragrance, and this smells so good. This one I suggest pairing with Bath & Body Works Sunset Glow. It's a little bit more of a sweeter strawberry type of scent. No Sunset Glow doesn't quite have that. It has more cherry, but I feel like when you spray these together, they smell so similar but it's so creamy, milky, and delicious, so I'm keeping it. Again, that one will be in my Amazon storefront. And then lastly, I guess I kind of saved the best for last, it seems like, but this is the Mason Mataha Escap Escapade Gourmand. This, you guys, I got this from Lucky Scent again, and this smells like creme brulee. Like, it's literally... Super sweet, creamy vanilla, but it's like custard-like, and it has, you can literally smell the creme brulee top coat where you have to crack it. It's like toasted in a way that it, it just smells literally like a creme brulee dessert. It is delicious for my gourmand girlies and that one's definitely staying. So that means that that is it for this perfume collection and declutter. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, all in all, I ended up decluttering 15 perfumes in total, so it wasn't a huge amount, but I think it was a pretty successful declutter. Like, I'm not really trying to get rid of my entire collection, just some scents I haven't been loving lately. I'll most likely list those on my Poshmark page if you guys are interested, but that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll try to link the perfumes in my description box as well if you guys want to check these out, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.